Russia will exit from the Open Skies Treaty. Before this, USA had exited from the treaty and it has significant ramifications for the world. If you are just trying to stay alive, this video is especially for you. Hello, I am Shreyasi and welcome back to my channel. Fasten your seat belts as I tell you the story of the Open Skies Treaty. Now, what is Open Skies Treaty? It is a treaty where a country can fly an unarmed surveillance aircraft over the airspace of another country to see if they are indulging in any military activity that concerns them. For example, if the USA wanted to see if Russia is preparing for war or doing any military activity that would threaten USA's peace, they could fly an airplane over Russia to see if they are gathering troops or accumulating weapons, anything. Similarly, Russia could do the same surveillance over USA. And there are no long notices so countries can attempt to hide their military activities. The notice can be shared 72 hours before and the exact flight path 24 hours before. So yeah, you can't hide. Now, you might be wondering why Russia or USA would agree to surveillance by each other. For that, you have to understand the history of tension and misunderstandings between Soviet Union and America. Both obviously didn't trust each other and there was always this threat of war. And a war between Soviet Union and USA would have been disastrous for the world. So to encourage trust and mutual understanding, in 1955, US President Dwight D. Eisenhower told Soviet Russia, Hey buddy, you can come fly over our airspace and check if you're doing any military activities that could affect you. And let us do the same, maybe? Initially, the Soviets said, no, that is not happening. But this treaty did enter into force in 2002. The treaty was signed between 35 nations, well, US, Russia and most of Europe. And now, USA and Russia have left the treaty. What happened? Let's start with the USA exit. Trump happened. Former US President Donald Trump had pulled America out of the Open Skies Treaty last year, claiming that Russia had violated the terms of the agreement by blocking US flights over Russia. They formally withdrew from the treaty in November 2020. Russian President Vladimir Putin criticized America for the decision to unilaterally pull out of Open Skies, saying they just don't understand American grievances. And so, Russia would exit from the treaty too. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, who was then a presidential candidate, criticized Trump and called the withdrawal short-sighted and that he supported the Open Skies Treaty. He also said that he wasn't opposed to rejoining the pact. And with Russia's official exit to take six months, as members have to give a six-month notice, there was hope that Biden and Putin could save the treaty. The hope that USA would rejoin the treaty under Biden didn't happen. Instead, the Biden administration reviewed the treaty and informed Russia that it will not rejoin the agreement. And now Russia, worried that because other American allies were still members of the treaty, they would provide intelligence information to USA. So blaming USA, the Russian parliament voted to leave the treaty. Although, as I have mentioned, Putin had announced it before. Well, it definitely isn't good news, especially for Europe who had been hoping that President Biden would rejoin the treaty. Now here's the thing, USA does not see much benefit in the treaty because USA has incredibly sophisticated reconnaissance satellites, which offer imagery far better than what USA was getting from those open sky aircrafts. However, USA's European allies do not have the same sophisticated satellites, so they were dependent on the imagery that the Open Skies Treaty provided them. Now, you might think USA will just provide Europe satellite images and it'll all be good, but USA satellite images are highly classified, meaning those are secret and won't be shared with Europe. Second, it shows that the influence of Europe has declined over time and has shown that the Open Skies Treaty was not really about them, but about US-Russia relations. The most significant impact this treaty had was its importance in enforcing arms control and 
now with the suspicion and mistrust between two leading countries USA and Russia you can expect that arms control could be dead for all intents and purposes with both countries trying to one up each other while there is no direct impact on india deteriorating us russia relations is not in india strategic interests as india does not want to choose one country over the other which could be tricky especially because as india improves its relationship with america it also wants to maintain ties with old friend russia who is now growing increasingly close to china causing much alarm with us and russia out this treaty has lost most of its significance even if it survives this is a huge blow to us russia relations all is not lost however as the new start treaty has survived for now i may add the new start treaty is the new strategic arms reduction treaty which is a treaty between america and russia to place limits on nuclear weapons and for what it's worth Biden and Putin are going to meet on June 16th in Geneva and that meeting is going to be awkward. If you like this video, drop a comment on what video I should make next. Do consider liking, subscribing and sharing because it encourages me to make more of these videos. Please, I'll be back with another video really soon and as always, thanks for watching.